Sorry, Green, pull out your gold card. Oh no. in the middle of Morse Plains and we have no idea where to go. Like we're actually lost. As a new generation of drivers, we grew up with navigation. And we were curious to know how our parents got around without it. So we decided to compare between the new and the old generations. Let's get into it. But first, we asked some people what their favorite navigation app was. My go-to navigation app is probably Waze. It's Apple Maps. It's Google Maps. It's Waze. Mine too. On my phone, I just use the regular maps that uh, Apple has. Maps? on my Apple iPhone. We started to compare the two generations by asking our parents and teachers what it was like. Growing up without smartphones meant we didn't have um, instant access to telephones. If we had to make a phone call, call home, call friends, we had to pull over um, and find a payphone on the street. It was a very different world back then growing up without these items. You had nothing at your fingertips. You had to manually look up address, destinations, it was difficult to get a route. We had to write the directions down, get a map, uh, ask a friend. You actually had to go into books and look for stuff. Ms. Wilson would print out directions for me on paper, and as you were driving, you would have to look at the paper while you were driving to see what street was coming up. Then we asked what they would do if they got lost. Many, many, many times I've gotten lost driving. I usually pull over if I have to, and I open up the Maps app on my phone and try to find my way from there. On the good graces, you, you pull over and you ask a good Samaritan directions. And I know for myself, I have been asked plenty of times like where the street is or how to get to here. By just looking at the signs on the highway. So either I ask a Samaritan, either I ask my wife, um, guest, or try to remember if I was there maybe once years ago or something. But it, again, it, it is difficult. It's, it's a great thing to have that GPS on the phone. The highways that I knew, Route 80, 46, the Parkway, if they can get me to those highways, I always knew that I could find a way back home, like always going east. Well, you would get lost all the time back then. You'd pull over into a local gas station or you'd see somebody walking down the street and you'd stop and ask them for directions. Now it's our turn to test out how it is to drive without a smartphone to a place we've never been to before. It was supposed to be about a 20-ish minute minute drive when we were looking up the directions to write down. We're just gonna keep driving and see where it takes us, and I guess we'll figure out from there what's going on. We asked the adults to share any stories of when they got lost. It was before uh, map, the maps on your phone talked to you, and you would literally just have to look down at the maps because it wasn't talking to me, I didn't know when I had to turn, so I looked down at my phone to see where the maps were, and I ended up hitting the curb and crashing into a sign and a tree. I remember when they first came out, the GPSs, I actually, it led me up to someone's driveway, and I wound up being in someone's backyard in Jefferson when it wasn't even a road, and I thought it was. I remember one time getting lost. Uh, I was a recent driver, and I was going to the Rockaway Mall with my sister, and coming home, uh, I didn't stay on Route 80 and I got on 280 um, and we were very lost. It was snowing, we didn't know where to go. We pulled into a gas station, had to ask directions. Sometimes you're not even sure if the people there are giving the right, right directions. We eventually did make it home, but it took very, very long. Then we asked if they had a good sense of direction. I do actually think I have a good sense of direction. After driving for a while and getting lost, um, I would say then, yes, uh, I did have a good sense of direction. I get lost all the time. I have a horrible sense of direction. We're looking for Haynesburg. We couldn't find the exit that it was on. It's just a take exit, so we're, we're gonna look for Haynesburg and hopefully we can find it. Okay, so we are now about to head into Parsippany. We're gonna just get off the exit and see um, where it takes us. 
That looks crazy. It looks like we're going into New York City from over there. If we went over there. So yeah, okay, we're heading to Morris Plains. That's just embarrassing. Like, what if there's not even a Chick-fil-A in Morris Plains and we're just gonna ask, where's your Chick-fil-A? <laughs> like, what? There probably isn't, because it's in Hainsburg. It's in Columbia, New Jersey. We just got out to go into um, Bangiola's Deli and Catering to ask them if they um, happened to know if there's a Chick-fil-A nearby and it was closed. And we're just trying to find Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Where's the... Is it not made yet? <laughs> it's not made yet. No! Our last option was to go to Chipotle. So now that we made it to our destination, we're gonna try getting home using our navigation app. In 2.2 miles, turn right on Mallard Drive. Overall, getting to where we are now, the way here was so much harder than we thought. We literally couldn't figure out what to do on the highway because we did not know the exit. We only knew the road to get off of, and we just really couldn't figure it out, and then we ended up here. Reflecting on our trip here without navigation, overall was extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. Extremely difficult. and and not part of the norm of what we usually have or like we don't we didn't get to use our technology we had no idea where we were going yeah and um we also tried to go to a gas station and it, we were unable to do that because it was closed so we tried the overall hard experience would i do it again no Absolutely never not. again if i have the technology i'm going to use it yeah. how our parents did this all the time, I have no idea, but I will definitely not be doing it ever again.